potentiometer calibration of a low range voltmeter with the help of a potentiometer so our aim of the experiment is to calibrate the given low range voltmeter with the help of a potentiometer coming to the theory of calibration of a low range voltmeter using potentiometer as we know if l is the balance length of the potentiometer which balances a Daniel cell of EMO 1.08 volt which is connected in the secondary circuit then we are getting the potential difference per unit length of the potentiometer wire is 1.08 divided by L that much volts. So instead of a Daniel cell if we are connecting a voltmeter in the secondary circuit and if L1 is the balance length which balances a voltage V0 where V0 is the voltmeter reading then the calculated voltmeter reading or the calculated reading or the potential difference across the voltmeter V should be 1.08 by L into L1 volts here V0 is the voltmeter reading that we can observe and V is the calculated voltage across the voltmeter which is 1.08 divided by L into L1 where L1 is the balance in length at present. Now coming to the procedure part, now we have the potentiometer uh, between A and B we are connecting the primary circuit with accumulator and rheostat and in the secondary circuit we are connected the Daniel cell or we are connecting the Daniel cell through a galvanometer and let L be the balance in length corresponds to the Daniel cell that is initially determined. Now we remove the Daniel cell uh, from the secondary circuit and we are connecting a voltmeter in the secondary circuit then the voltmeter reads a voltage V0 we can mark that reading V0 in the tablet column then find the corresponding balance length the L then we can calculate the voltage across the voltmeter using the formula 1.08 by L into L1 volts then we are determining the value of V minus V0 where V minus V0 is calculated that gives uh, the correction in the value of uh, voltmeter reading. Now we can repeat the experiment uh, by taking different positions that means V0 value is changing and for each value of V0 we are taking the L, uh, L1 value and then the corresponding V value is calculated. So the experiment can be repeated many times and we are plotting a graph between uh, the V0 value along the x axis and the correction value that is V minus V0 along the Y axis then we are getting a irregular or six side graph and that is the calibration graph. Coming to the uh, observations we first note the M of the Daniel cell is 1.08 the balance in length of Daniel cell is noted that is L we obtained then PD across the potentiometer wire is calculated using the formula 1.08 by L then we connect the voltmeter and let uh, L1 be the balance length for a voltage reading or when the voltmeter reads 0.1 but for voltmeter reading 0.1 we obtain a balance length L1 then we calculate the voltage V1.08 divided by L into L1 that is nearly 0.1 and then uh, we will calculate the difference between V and V0 that is the correction is calculated. Now the exponent is repeated keeping the uh, jockey another position so that uh, the voltmeter reads 0.2 the balance length is obtained the voltage is calculated so we obtain the calculated value voltage is obtained that is nearly somewhat near to 0.2 volt then the experiment is repeated for 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 etc voltages and each time we note the voltmeter reading and the balance length and from the balance length the calculated value of voltage is determined and then a graph is plotted uh, between uh, V0 along the x-axis and V minus V0 along the y-axis that is the calibration graph so the given voltmeter is calibrated. Now let us see the experimental setup for the calibration of low range voltmeter. We are provided with a potentiometer here as we all know the potentiometer consists of a uniform wire which is arranged in 10 rows so it is having a total length of 10 meter 10 rows are there it is connected between two terminals A and the terminal B. Now between A and B we are having the primary circuit. 
Now, for the primary circuit, we are having an accumulator here. Now, the positive of the accumulator is connected to A, and from the negative, it is connected to a key here. A key co is connected here. Then, from the key, a rheostat is connected. From the rheostat, it is connected to B. So, by moving the rheostat, we can vary the current that is passing through the potential meter. So, that is the primary circuit. Now, in the secondary circuit, we want initially we want to include the Daniel cell, we want to find the balance length for a Daniel cell. Here, we are having a voltage source, and this source provides the Daniel cell voltage that is 1.08. So, there is an arrangement is here. So, that Daniel cell is connected here. Now, it is connected through a galvanometer, we are having a galvanometer here, and this galvanometer is connected to a jockey, and that jockey can move over the potentiometer wire. Now, after giving connections, if you are giving contact at the end A, we can see there is a left deflection and when we are giving contact on the other side, we are having a deflection on the right side. So, the connections are correct. Now, we want to balance it, we can move the rheostat. So, we can get the balance length for the Daniel cell or we want to fi or we can fix the uh, balance length for the Daniel cell. I like to fix uh, the reading at 720 that is on the seventh row corresponds to 20 on the scale. So, at 720 I want to balance. So, we are giving contact at the point 720 and then the rheostat is adjusting in order to get a balance length of 720. If you want to change 720 to another value that is also possible. Now, when the jockey is giving contact at the first row we are getting a left deflection and on the last row we are getting a right deflection. So, we are supposed or we are planning to get a balance length at 720. So, I for uh, jockey is kept plus at 720 then the rheostat is adjusted, then the rheostat is adjusted. So, to get a zero deflection. Now, for a particular position of rheostat, now for this particular position of rheostat, we are getting a zero deflection. So, the balance length corresponds to uh, the Daniel cell is now it is 720. So, we are getting zero deflection. Now, for the second part, the Daniel cell is removed and instead of the Daniel cell in the secondary, we are connecting the voltmeter alone, no need of galvanometer. The voltmeter is alone is connected in the secondary circuit and the voltmeter is connected to the jockey and give the contact at some point such that the voltmeter reads 0.1. We want to find the balance length corresponds to 0.1 volt. So, we are moving here. Now, it is having a particular value. Now, corresponds to 0.1. We have to find out the value. Now, here. Uh, when it is given contact at this particular point. Now, this point is at 70. Now, this point 70, the voltmeter reading is uh, 0.1 volt. You can see 0.1 volt here and the balance length is uh, 70 centimeter. Now, again we are repeating, we are supposed to get a voltmeter reading of say 0.2 V1. So, we are moving again on the uh, potentiometer wire. Then, we want to read 0.2 volt. Now, it is almost 0.2 is here and we obtain the balance length here. Now, here the balance length is 140. Now, for 140, it is balancing at 0.2. So, 0.2 volt is balanced by 140. So, the balance length L1 is 140. Again, it is repeated. Uh, so, as to get a reading of uh, 0.3 we want. Now, we want to move again the wire. Now, it is 0.3. Now, it is at a distance of uh, 220 or 2 yes, 220, we are getting a balance length for 0.3. Similarly, it is moved to get a uh, balance length for 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 0.9 volts. Each time, we are determining the balance length and we are calculating the value of V, calculate the value of V and then V minus V0 is calculated. Coming to a sample set of reading in the calibration of the low range voltmeter, the EM of the Daniel cell is 1.08. We obtain the balance length for the Daniel cell as 720 centimeter. So, PD across the potentiometer wire is calculated 1.08 divided by 720 that is calculated. Then, uh, in the secondary circuit, when we connect the voltmeter, when the voltmeter reaches 0.1, the balance length is 70. That means, when the jockey is contacted at 70, the voltmeter is 0.1. Then we calculate the value of voltage that is uh, 1.08 divided by 720 into 70 that we obtain 0.105. 
then V minus V 0 is calculated that is equal to 0 0.005 volt that is a correction in the first case. Then the exponent is repeated for 0.2 we obtain the balance length 145 and V is calculated that is 0.2175 and the correction is calculated. Similarly, it is calculated for 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 1 volt. Each time we obtain the balancing length and the value of V is calculated and V minus V 0 is tabulated. And using that value of V minus V 0 and this V 0 a calibration graph is plotted and so we obtain the result the voltmeter is calibrated and the calibration graph is plotted.